everyone this is mrs peters um sorry i can't be with you today but this video is just meant to um go over your homework give you guys some of the answers and um i picked out a few of the hard ones that i wanted to talk through so number six sorry give me a second number six the answer uh when you list the possible roots it's plus or minus one plus or minus three, plus or minus one half, plus or minus three halves. And when you actually figure out the real roots, uh, the actual roots, uh, you get one, negative three, and one half. So these are the roots in the end. These are the possible ones. For number 12, sorry, number 10, the possible roots are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 6. And the actual roots are x equals negative 3, negative 1, and positive 2. For number 12, uh, the possible roots are plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 2. And the actual roots are x equals 1, which happens to be a triple root, and x equals 2, which is a single root. Uh, number 14, this one, the possible roots were plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 1 half, plus or minus 3 halves. And the actual roots were x equals one half and the cubed root of three and this is one of the ones that I want to talk about number 15 um, I while you guys have the answer in the back of the book I do want to talk about it and then I believe that was it as far as the even ones uh, actually no 30 but I don't have that in front of me uh, 30 is meant to be a review, so hopefully you guys got that easily, but we can talk about that Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, so the ones I want to talk about are 14, 15, 27, and 31. So again, that's 14, 15, 27, and 31. And if you don't have questions on these, uh, or if you only have a question, say, on 14 and 31, feel free to skip to the question that you had a question on. Number 14, this was 2x to the 4th minus x cubed minus 6x plus 3. When you list the possible roots, you're finding the factors of this one and the factors of this one. Well, the factors of 3 are plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 3. The factors of 2 are plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 2. So overall, the possible factors, the possible roots, Are going to be the P's over the Q's. So you get plus or minus 1 over 1, plus or minus 3 over 1, plus or minus 1 over 2, and plus or minus 3 over 2. Once you get the possible roots, there are a few ways that you can determine which one actually is a root. You could plug them in and see until you get 0. You could also use a graphing calculator to see if any of these intersect the x-axis so you can look for the roots on your calculator on the graph. Uh, whatever method you choose, hopefully you would find that one half, when you plug in one half, you get zero. Or on the graph, it's an x-intercept. So I'm going to skip that first part. Then once you get a root, do synthetic division. You can do synthetic division with fractions. Now be careful here, there's no x squared, so this is 2, negative 1, 0, negative 6, and 3. Carry the 2, multiply, 1 half times 2 is 1, add the column, 1 half times 0 is 0, add the column, multiply, add, and half of negative 6 is negative 3. So now when we translate this, this is 2x cubed minus 6. We can't actually factor this 
um, I mean, you could factor out uh, a 2, but it's not really necessary. Well, now, basically, we're going to take this and solve for x. So we get 2x cubed minus 6 equals 0. 2x cubed equals 6. x cubed equals 3. And then we just have to take the cubed root. So x equals the cubed root of 3. And that doesn't have a plus or minus on it. So that's where I got this from. Uh, and so this has to be a triple root. And hopefully on the graph you can see that. Number 15 was 6x to the 4th plus 35x cubed minus x squared minus 7x minus 1. And then the possible roots are going to be, well this is only 1, so you get plus or minus 1 over 1 plus or minus 1 over 2, because 2 goes into 6, plus or minus 1 over 3, because 3 goes into 6, and plus or minus 1 over 6. And again, I'm going to skip the guessing part of it. You guys can either try to plug them all in, uh, you can try to look on your graphing calculator um, and do that. But when you test them out, Negative one-third works and one-half works. So I'm going to go with one-half because you probably would have gotten that first. Again, do synthetic division with a fraction. Carry, multiply, add half of 38 is 19. Half of that is 9, and half of 2 is 1. So then we're left with this polynomial, which is 6x cubed plus 38 plus 18 plus 2. You can actually do it again. So out of these factors, plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2, plus or minus uh, 1 over 2, plus or minus 1 over 3, um, plus or minus 1 over 6, and then 2 over 2. But we're going to have the same list as above because we can't add additional roots. So really we're going to go with that. Again, if you plug in numbers or use your graphing calculator, you would find out that negative one-third equals zero. Or on the graph, you would see an x-intercept. So now do synthetic division with negative one-third on this answer, 6, 38, 18, 2. Negative one-third times 6 is negative 2, negative one-third of 36 is negative 12, negative one-third of 6 is negative 2. So now we get 6x squared plus 36x plus 6. Well, we can factor this out. We can factor out a 6. But if you notice, now we can't actually factor this because there's no way we can multiply two numbers to get 1 and add to 6. So use the quadratic formula and you get opposite of b plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 1, all over 2a. So I, notice how I'm only using this part. I'm ignoring the 6. We don't need it. And so we get negative 36, sorry, negative 6 plus or minus square root of 32 all over 2. And this reduces, because 4 goes into this, and actually 16 goes into this, this reduces to negative 6 plus or minus 4 root 2 
over 2. Well, 2 cancels, 2 cancels. And so our final answer for this part, the um, it's not rational, but it is real. You get negative 3 plus or minus 2 root 2. So there are two of our roots. Here's another one of our root, and here's the other one. This one was probably the hardest one on your homework. Number 27. Uh, this one, they gave you a formula. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. And they wanted you to know where is this going to be when um, I think the depth was 0 0.8. So all you're doing there is setting this equal to 0 0.8. And then now you can get everything to one side. You actually have to multiply this out. So um, 200 times this, we move the decimal over 2, so we would lose 1, 2, 3, we have 5 left. I believe it's 0 0.00, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, And so now what I would do in this case is actually divide by this number because it makes it kind of crazy to look at. Um, and so you're going to get something much simpler. Uh, actually, instead of dividing everything by that number, let's multiply by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you just move the decimal place 8 over on everything, which is multiplying by... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Multiply everything by this number, which is a hundred million. And so one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna get sixteen hundred x squared minus eight x cubed minus eight with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros. And you can graph this function and figure out where it crosses the x-axis. Or you can try to factor this. Or even another method, if we rearrange this, we can actually use the theorem that we were just talking about. Um, we can figure out what are the different factors of this divided by this. Um, I would probably recommend graphing this and you should see that it's going to cross the x-axis at 100. And so look at your graph to find this. For number 31, they give you roots of 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2. So this is review. You write this as x minus 1, times x plus 1, times x minus 2, times x plus 2. Foil these two together, foil these two together, then you get x squared minus 1, times x squared minus 4. Then do foil again, and you get x to the 4th minus 5x squared plus 4. So hopefully this one was easy, but I just wanted to remind you guys, foil the two that go together um, and keep on working like that. Uh, so your, your work today is to work on the worksheet that was provided to you, uh, numbers 1 through 8 and numbers uh, number 11. Uh, and then the quiz that I told you guys would be Wednesday or Thursday is going to be moved to Friday. Uh, so bring questions that you have on sections 4-3 and 4-4 four, four on Wednesday, Thursday. 
and we'll talk about this homework in the worksheet. The worksheet will be collected as a classwork grade.